Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, we are going to cover and understand details around Automation Developer Associate exam from UiPath. Who should give the exam? How you should prepare for the exam? And couple of other strategies I am going to discuss in this video. So if you are planning for associate exam, this could be the right video for you to understand lot many details. So let's get started. How do you come to this page? For this, simply go to academy.uipath.com. And here you have a tab called certification. Click on this tab. And here you would find all the different exams. So the very first one is associate. Similarly, if you scroll down, there are multiple exams available. So after you have given associate, you can go for professional or you have good experience wherein you would like to directly attend for professional, even that is allowed. You can directly go for a professional exam or else if you're a beginner, you know, I would recommend to start with the associate exam. Then you have your business analyst professional exam. Then we have specialist AI associate. And then we have a professional, which is advanced one on specialist AI. Similar way, we have solution architect professional exam. And then we have test automation engineer professional exam. As of today's date of recording this, these are the different certifications available in this particular web page. Now here we are focused around the associate exam, the first one, right? So what you do once you're on the page, read this description. Let me highlight the important one. The UiPath certified professional automation developer associate is the first step for professionals who wants to build and assess their knowledge and skills towards their journey to become a advanced automation developer. Right. So for, you know, if you are starting your career in UiPath, this should be your, this could be your primary, uh, you know, exam that you would like to first go with. Then you can try with professional. If you have good experience, then you can, if you are confident, you can also go with professional exam. Now here, let me click on couple of important links here. One is the practice test to test your knowledge, how good you are prepared but again before you get on to the practice test what is more important is you understand what are the contents covered in this exam what are the topics from where the questions will come right so click on this exam description document right and i would advise you you have to go through this entire content one by one but here i am going to highlight some of the important points okay so you have understood who should give it who should give it if you are starting your journey to become an advanced automation developer if it's your very first step go with this specific exam. If you have very good knowledge, good experience on UiPath, then you can go with, it's up to your decision and up to your expertise on UiPath. Okay, so here, you, if you look the target audience, the target audience for the automation developer associate exam include all technical and semi-technical roles. So anyone who is a junior automation developer, they can go for this. Anyone who is an automation developer, they can also go for this. Solution architect, even though I have experience, let's say I would like to first go with this test, even I can go with the associate one instead of professional one. It's up to a personal decision how we'd like to go. Solution architect, a business analyst can go with this. System administrators can go with this. College, university students and graduates, they can also go with this exam. UiPath partner employees in roles such as pre-sales, service support, etc. Okay, so these are the target audience as per the documentation. If I scroll down, minimum qualified candidate who, who is qualified for this exam. So here, three to six months of RPA hands-on experience. This is what UiPath is recommending. You should have at least three to six months of RPA hands-on experience. The minimally qualified candidate or MQC is an individual with the following. No prior experience with robotic process automation. You didn't have any RPA experience. However, the MQC, the minimum qualified candidate has taken completed UiPath automation developer foundation training. Now, what is this automation developer foundation training? I'm going to show you. Okay, please continue with this video. So UiPath automation developer foundation training you should complete from UiPath. It's authorized partners, academic alliance institutions or other sources like YouTube and other things, other sources which satisfy the learning for subject being tested. All right, so these are the areas, even though you have no experience, but you should at least complete the automation developer foundation training and should have understood the subject. 
Okay, so these are the recommendation minimum qualified uh, candidate. Now let's look at what are the products on which you would get questions. So here there are three platform products. UiPath has got multiple products. So the primary products are your UiPath Studio on which you will develop your automation. You should have knowledge on that. UiPath Robot version 22.10. These are the version numbers it's talking about. And the third one is UiPath Orchestrator. So these are the three things you should have expertise on. Exam questions are based on modern design experience. Okay, if you are not aware of what is a modern design, I have videos on my YouTube channel. You can definitely go through this. And here, let's see what are the topics you will get questions from. The Automation Developer Associate exam contains the following exam sections. Business knowledge, platform knowledge, studio interface, variables and arguments. You should know how to use variables, arguments in UAPA Studio. Control flows that you have, right? If you don't know what is a control flow, all this I will try to cover. I have already videos on my channel. You should have already gone. If you have gone through those videos, then you would get a knowledge what this contents talks about. Debugging, exception handling, logging, UI automation, object repository, Excel automation, email automation, PDF automation. You can see, you know, all these things comes under the associate exam. Working with files and folders, data manipulation, version control and integration. I have videos, libraries and templates. I have videos, workflow analyzer, implementation methodology, RPA testing, orchestrator. So all of this, I have a lot of videos, integration service. I have videos. So all of these videos are available on my YouTube channel, also available on the UiPath Academy that you can always go through. Okay. So these are the different topics. Now here in detail, for example, when they said business knowledge, what is that business knowledge? So here, if you see, they have given some bullet points. Describe what business process automation is and what value is it brings. What is a business process automation means? So all those things you should have knowledge. Identify, describe key concepts related to business process. Okay. So likewise, for all of these topics that we have covered, the entire descriptions are kept here. Okay. What are the important points? Okay. Important points you should be aware of. So these are the different for studio, these are the things you need to know. Install studio community edition and connect to orchestrator. So all these things you should be aware how it works. Variables, control flow, right? Uh, what is the in out, in out argument, all those things. Debugging, okay? So this, these are the main topics one has to prepare before you appear for the exam, okay? Now the question comes, okay, Rakesh, where can I prepare? Where should I prepare from, right? So I'm going to create a playlist that is going to be an additional help for you uh, where I would be covering the important points before you appear for the exam. And I will try to cover questions and answers. I will try to cover uh, the concepts around different topics, right? However, where is a pro you know, the right approach for me to prepare? Okay, so don't worry. I am going to show you that. So here, if you see the training options, recommended training, hands-on experience, the following represents the recommended learning path. Minimally qualified candidate MQC can take to prepare for the UiPath Certified Professional Automation Developer Associate B.1. So here are the training options. UiPath Academy Automation Developer Associate Training. Now here there is two options for public and partner. We'll go with the public. So it will directly open you the Academy page. Okay, most of the learners would start their learning journey here. They would take help from uh, YouTube to get additional understanding of the concepts, understand examples. Okay, you can take help from multiple sources. So this is the primary source for you to start. Now here, if you see all the topics are covered, explore automation development with the upper studio, build your first process with studio, variables, constants. So all the topics that you see in the PDF, all these things are available here. Okay, email automation, PDF automation, data manipulation, introduction to logging studio. So there's a huge amount of topics that you should prepare for. It's easy. It's not at all difficult. You know, you need to focus. You have to decide on certain time of your day, which you can plan it out and go through all this content. Okay. Aside that, you know, I, you know, if you have already known or gone through all these contents and you have good knowledge, then you can also also take help from the YouTube contents I'm going to create for the associate exam, where you can directly focus on the specific points, uh, con concepts, right? How to apply those concepts, all those things. I will try to prepare one uh, playlist. 
Okay, so you, you see all of this thing you have to cover. Now let me go one step back. Okay, so you saw all this hands on experience, developing an attended process. And remember, uh, it's not about studying the subject and going, you should have hands on experience, means at least uh, you should be able to do all these workflows on your studio. You have you know, have some hands-on, developing unattended process, developing attended processes, right? Proof of concept you have created, experience resolving application changes and code changes, peer code reviews, have you done it? So all these things would help you, right? All of these things would help you to clear the exam in an easy way. Recommended exam preparation, okay? In addition to the recommended learning path, the practice test is an additional study to tool. So I have shown you the practice test. So if you go to the practice test, I have a video where I have covered, um, you know, all there will be around 60 questions in the practice test. And remember, these questions will not appear in your real exam. This is just for practice purpose to test your knowledge, how much you have learned, how are you scoring, okay? In case you go, you are not able to answer some of the questions. I have a video around the practice test. Let me show you it. Uh, if you go to my YouTube channel, so I have a Dear play friends, playlist. Welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, okay, so I have a playlist. So here in the playlist, I have created something called UAP Practice Test Playlist. So here you have the associate practice test. Okay, so in case you get stuck in some of the questions, you can always take help from that specific video right so um, and here are the details around the certification exam fee so it is around 150 dollars passing score is 70 percent how much time would you get is around 90 minutes which is around one hour 30 minutes okay so these are the things prerequisites none some hands-on experience with uapa studio are recommended okay this is important one and uh, valid period will be three years so you can in detail you can open this page and go through this entire section so that you have a clear understanding and you got a view of what should i prepare okay this is very important while you are taking help from the youtube contents and other things this is also highly important that you know you should not miss any of the points and you have covered all of them before appearing for the exam i will try to create a playlist on uipath associate exam i will try to cover all these points but again you know, it is your personal preparation on all these things are recommended. You should be going through each of these elements and ensure you have read through, practiced through all these important subjects. All right, guys. So that's all for this video. And next, I'm going to come up with a playlist, as I said, you know, where I will try to cover the important areas, important topics, concepts, how to apply them, how to uh, solve the problem. It will test your problem solving capability right when a question is given so there is a problem how are you solving it what approach are you taking so and how much concepts you have understood all those things are important so let's you know you can wait for the uh, practice test uh, playlist that i'm going to create on my channel which might be a help for you guys thank you all the best and let's meet once again in our next content till then take care